a video to run through how to make a professional learning application through Schoolbytes. And it's a lot like doing an excursion through Schoolbytes, only for your professional learning. So the first thing that we need to do is go and log in. And that should take you to the home screen. And to do a professional learning application, you need to go through events. And then up in the top corner, it will give you a choice between the VOR dashboard, which is for excursions, and then professional learning. So you click professional learning dashboard. And then you'll go up here and click create PL application. So the first thing is just the entry point. So all you need to do is give us uh, a brief uh, PL application name of what it's called and a, a small description about what it is. Leave the next two as they are, professional learning application and calendar configuration as default. And then your supporting staff are the staff that have access to your application, but may not be necessarily going out on that professional learning event. And then an approval deadline would be helpful if it would be at least a week before your professional learning event. So for me, I'm gonna apply for uh, one that's on the 9th, so I'm gonna make my application cut off on the 2nd of the 5th, 2022. So go, going forward here, it's just simply going through and filling out all of these fields. So your faculty, what specific subject it's for, and generally speaking for professional learning, your casual cover will be required. So just pop in the number of casuals that you need, leave the funding clear, and then you can type your, um, ca your preferred casual in there. Next, we just need to know where you're going, so where the venue is. I'm going to write one for, for uh, staying at school. So booking not required for school. And then the start date, so I said May the 9th. I also end on May the 9th because it's only a one-day course. I'm going to make it start on 10 a.m. and finish at 4 on the 9th of May 2022. So that's what you can do there. If it's a recurring event, you can also click this button as well. Or if it's over a few days, you can click add date and that will give us more information about how many days you need cover for. Once you finish that, you can go save and next and it moves you on across the top here. And here's the list of staff that you're applying for the professional uh, learning application. So if it's just yourself, it will default just yourself. But if you need someone to come along with you and you're applying for them as well, then you'll write them in the list and then you can add them and they'll be added to that list. And this is particularly important when we get to the finance stage. So once you've got everyone on there that you're applying for, you go save and next. And here's just the internal professional learning application form that Cheltenham has. So is casual rec covered required? Yes. Be specific about what uh, half of the day, if it's a half day or a full day. And if it's over the uh, multiple dates, you can write them there. If you qualify for beginning teaching funding, you can signify that here. You can click multiple school prior priority areas if it applies. So my one applies for assessment. Are you willing to deliver professional learning back at school? Yes. If you have any more supporting documentation like a flyer or some information documents, you can upload them there, but that's not compulsory. And then just simply tell us your level of accreditation and click save and next. So this part is the fixed cost part. So the cost that it will cost to the school. So you can write the uh, supplier in there. And just as a test, I'm going to do Cheltenham Girls. I'm going to write it's a course and it's going to cost $123. And that's a total fixed cost. When you see over here, you'll see that because I've popped another staff member's name in there, it's divided that by two. And so the total cost is $123. So that is really important. It's not per staff member here. It's total cost. Or if it's just yourself, obviously, then it's just that singular cost. Once you've done there, you can write uh, the additional cost, any additional costing information and you can click save and next. And then finally, it just gives you an overview of what you have done for your application. You can download the PL application there for your uh, information. But once you've finished everything and everything is okay for you to, to go, then you can press submit and then you can write yes, submit PL application and perfect. It will be pinged off to the next person that needs to review it. If you have any questions, of course, always ask the PL team, but otherwise uh, have a good professional learning application.